Okay, so just a friendly reminder, this is part of a kind of multi-part episode that we are doing, and so if you have not checked out part one yet, then you definitely want to do that before listening to this one. After part one, which is kind of the introduction, any of the parts can be listened to in, in any order and it will make sense, but part one kind of lays the foundation of what we're talking about. So you might check that one out first, but if you already have uh, or are willing to risk it, here we go. Okay, so that is kind of how the game uses very, very unique sampled sounds in order to build a library that that makes the game soundtrack just very different than what we've heard so far on the Super Nintendo. But when we talk about sampling in Earthbound, that's not normally what people talk about. Uh, and what people normally talk about is the actual sampling of other songs and putting it into the game. And, and this is, uh, this is why, you know, there has been a lot of wonder over the years about if, for example, the Beatles, uh, were to ever notice this game and go after it for using it sounds uh, seemingly without permission. So for a long time, Earthbound was not getting re-released by Nintendo on on pretty much anything. And there was there was a lot of speculation that I've heard over the years uh, that it might be the soundtrack that's really the problem there. Um, since uh, since so much stuff was was sampled that 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 could be that could be causing a legal problem. Um, since then, uh, in the in the uh, NES Classic Edition, uh, which came out, I guess maybe a couple of years ago, a year ago or so, the Earthbound was included in in North America and uh, PAL territories, and, and so so I don't, I honestly don't know if they kind of cleared up those issues. Um, or just ignored them and hoped they went away. Um, and, uh, but in any case, you know, they, it finally did get a re-release, uh, much to everyone's, uh, joy and rejoicing. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things. It's like, if the game, if the game just used one or two, you could like, you could like, you could work around that, you know, uh, over time that, you know, if, if, if like if you use the Beatles in one single song and that proved too much, then, you know, you can kind of you can go in and, and change that song and still re-release it. But there's a lot of samples in this in this album. And and some of them, you know, I, I uh, some of them, I uh, if if they've if they've been kind of matched with something, then then I, I I didn't know about it. I the all the sources I keep running into is that yeah, there's a bunch of songs in here, and you can tell it's from something what they're putting in there, but we we don't really know what that thing is. Um, and so let's kind of get into what we're talking about. So um, first of all, we're going to hit kind of the Beatles. Re- related stuff. Uh, and that way, you know, that will give us, give us kind of an idea of, of what's going on here. Now, if you've played the games, there is like repeated references to the Beatles. And, and this is, this is kind of, I mean, this is one of the themes of the game is that, you know, this is, this is a, this is a Japanese role-playing game that is taking a look at, Particularly American culture, and and and, and, and uh, kind of American culture from the fifties forward, but um, really kind of uh, sticking in those in those first decades, for, uh, starting from the fifties and, and through the seventies and eighties, um, mo- most of all, um, and 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 taking that and like fitting that into into a, into the JRPG, um, and so. In that process, things get kind of twisted and turned around. But that's kind of the point. I mean, one of the themes of the game is that everything, that everything that is, that is good and decent is being, is being twisted. And, and a lot of times it's just, it's, it's kind of a minor twist. And in some cases, it's a major one. But, one of the themes of the game is not that you're going to go kill all the bad guys, but instead that you are going around and setting things that have been corrupted right. 
And so that's why, like when you defeat an, an animal enemy, it says that you tame the animal. You don't kill the animal, you tame it. And, and that, that's, where, that's where we're seeing that. And so we, we, we're seeing these hints of, of the, this very familiar culture all over the place in this game, just all over. And, and it finds its way in the music, but it's slightly askew. And as you progress in the game, it becomes more askew until it's, it's really hard to recognize anymore, but it is actually still there. And that's, that's very intentional. That's, that's, that's the, you know, the, the, the designers and the composers really working hand in hand, uh, at, at this theme. And so we get these very, very familiar sounds familiar because they're taken directly from songs that we know, but, but they're twisted and they never appear in the game exactly the way they appeared originally. Uh, most often they're slowed down uh, a lot. Of, uh, sometimes they, um, it, it's, it's it distorted a little bit or it's moved around to make a, make a melody of sorts, but there's enough of it there that if, if you're listening very carefully, you're, you're hearing something familiar. So let's give an example of what we mean. There's, there are, um, there are three kind of Beatles related ones. I say related because one of them is actually John Lennon. So, um, uh, that, that, that's what we're going to tackle first is, you know, and this, and this does, this goes hand in hand with the, the text of the game, the, the actual lines of the game referencing Beatles stuff so very often. And so the music also references the Beatles so, so very often. So uh, in a couple of these cases, you have what, what is, what is a beat? What is a beat? created by these songs that is used as the backing beat of of the news of the new of the uh earthbound soundtrack one of uh i I, probably the most clear one is the drum beat from the beginning of sergeant pepper's lonely hearts club band and this is just such an iconic start to a song and uh just just an absolutely absolutely mesmerizing beat um uh in that tune and you know it Ringo Starr did remarkable work in the Beatles um that's not that's not very that's not very complex it's not very um in your face it's not it's it's it, <laughs> It's it's very competent, and and I say that I say that with great affection because um, Ringo um, Ringo knew exactly what he needed to do to make the Beatles sound good, and he did it. And so you know, we uh, I, I, I even I will joke around about Ringo, you know, playing just overly simple stuff, but it's the right it's the right beat, and this is actually one of his more distinct um, rhythms. And, uh, and, and it's, it's because the song needed it. And this, the start to the song just kind of kicks off with this. And so we're going to play the Beatles first. And then immediately after that, cause I want you to hear it side by side. So we're going to play Sergeant, the, just the opening to Sergeant Peppers. And then we're going to immediately go to Megaton Walk from Earthbound. And you're going to hear the beat. Now it's going to sound, it's going to sound different. You know, they, uh, I think, I think in this case, they slowed it down a little bit. They distorted it a little bit, but you can hear it. And it's the same thing. It is a clip. It is a sample that they took from the song and inserted it into the game. And so let's, let's listen to these two side by side. Okay. All right. You should have heard the sim- been able to hear the similarities. If you didn't, just rewind it. You're going to hear it. You're going to hear that beat in there. 
Um, and this is the this is actually the same thing that the the composers do when they get to the soundstone songs because the soundstone songs uh, have a drum beat in the background, but this one they've taken from John Lennon's tune, uh, uh, "Give Peace a Chance," and so this also is going to be ones that we that we listen to really side by side and this one this one's actually a, a simpler beat and so it's 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 hard to it's hard to really it's harder to really connect the two but it is it, it it is this beat from this song that has been again distorted just a little bit so so that it's familiar it's familiar i mean it's it's coming from an, an incredibly iconic song that most of us, if you, I, and if you listen to any of the right radio stations or any of the right music, you know this song. Um, so this is familiar to us. This is something that we've heard so much that it's just ingrained in us. And so we're hearing it in the game, but it's familiar, but we just, it's not quite the same. And it's very, very intentional. So let's check this one out. Two, one, two, three, four. Everybody talk about that. So the last example from the Beatles that I have is one that's a little bit different. And and this is and this is once we once we depart from the Beatles and in the next segment we go into other into other music, um, this is going to be the theme that we return to. That we're not just we're not just taking beats anymore. From now on, we're going to be taking distinct moments of the song and inserting them in 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 sometimes really twisting them and really slowing it down or speeding it up and turning something that's very very familiar into something that's it's 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 just not quite right and it's unsettling you're going to hear it when you hear this song of just how unsettling this very very distinct tune is and so what this is and this is also another really interesting thing because the song that they use here is actually France's national anthem which I believe is public domain, but they don't just, they don't just like play it. They, you know, they, they totally could have just played this song and it wouldn't be a sample at all, but they'd have the exact same effect, but they don't do that. They take the, the, the version of this song that is played at the beginning of all you need is love or the truly great Beatles tunes. Um, and they take that version of it and twist it. And so, and so it's not enough. It's not enough that they just that they take a familiar tune. They want to take the recording that you know, that you love, that you've listened to a hundred times, and play with that. And and we're going to see that again. We're going to see that again in the next segment when uh, when we start when they, when they take from Monty Python. Um, it's not it's not enough that they just take something that is that is familiar but they're going to take the most familiar version of that thing and for most of us when we hear this song it's normally because we're listening to all you need is love by the beatles and that's certainly when i hear it uh because that, that is just that is just a great song um and so that <laughs> this this kind of adds to the problem right that we talked about before it's like you know this is a lot of stuff in here to get permission to use. And I don't believe the original had permission to use any of it. Um, they did anyways. And, and I don't know about the, I don't know about the new version, but it's, it's one of those things. It's like, you know, Hey, we could have used just the notes of this song that's in the public domain and not have to pay anyone. But, but that's not getting to, to the real, the, the, the feeling that you want to have in this game of something that is so incredibly familiar to you that is 
that is twisted and made darker. And so we're really going to hear that in this song. Uh, this isn't just this isn't just a beat that's uh, being reused, but this is something this is something that's 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 very familiar. That's something that we we know and love, and that it is twisted into something much much darker. So we're going to take a listen to that. And then that's it. And so we're going to jump ahead uh, in our next segment uh, and talk about some of the other tunes that is that are being used here and how they're being used um, and, uh, and and kind of incorporated into the game in, in much the same way. So let's head into that. <laughs> <laughs> 